So this is uh, basically a talk about two particular definitions um, and just the commonality between uh, these definitions and actually what, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis uh, in our architecture practice. Um, with the last slide, I was just, just saying that uh, I'm going to use uh, Venn diagrams to um, explain this talk. So the kind of joke is uh, lost a little bit. But um, so that's uh, people that understand Venn diagrams and Venn diagrams to obviously there's a space here. Um, let's go on. Okay, so there's a proper one. Um, I haven't quite made up my mind what I want to be. Uh, there's a little bit of architecture. There's uh, a lot of expeditions. Uh, which uh, angers my clients, but um, I, I enjoy. Um, and so on these episodes, we document um, architecture and write about the natural architecture around the world, and just try and bring that back to um, the practice, just the simplicity of dealing with um, the problems that arise, arise in these uh, extreme climates. So, part explorer, part architect, there we go, yeah, having more fun there. Less fun. Yeah, cold but fun. Okay, so there's two, two journeys I want to talk about, so fire. Uh, this is what started everything. Um, this is an eight month expedition uh, down the west coast of Africa. Uh, myself and my business partner, Charlie Curtis. Um, and you can just see the uh, the kind of logistical nightmares that we had to, to go through to, to complete this journey. And on route, we were documenting the architecture, writing about um, the structures that we uh, stayed in, uh, photographed. And, um, and there we are, quite like this. So we were um, both working at the time um, and trying to decide what direction we wanted to go. And it was right at the start of the uh, the financial climate, uh, financial crisis, and we saw this great uh, picture in, um, I think it was the Times, um, of the areas in the world that were affected by the crisis. And we saw this huge hole in Africa, and we just thought, right, let's let's go there. Uh, so that's how that's how our practice started, basically. And on this expedition, um, we created um, one of the new uh, architects. Uh, just a very quick uh, slide showing the sheer scale of the sheer scale of the country, which is <laughs> sorry, the, the continent. We didn't really realise um, how long it would take us, and just the, the difficulties that we would um, encounter on, on route. Uh, and this is this is our first, um, I guess, our first commission. It was um, a shelter for a hospital. Uh, for children and mothers with um, suffering with HIV, and it's just a really simplistic, um, you know, answer to the, the simple problem of, of providing shade. And it all came from something we saw in, in Freetown and Sierra Leone, which just really, really, um, really inspired us. You know, it's just such a simple, simple solution. Uh, they just used the, the local um, the sacking or whatever they could find on a simple frame to, to protect them from the shade from the sun. Okay, so the expedition was cut short, uh, and you can see the obvious mistake there. That was our, that was our land joke, so that's what we lived in for, for eight months, and we converted it inside. We had um, power and, and, and fridge and beds, uh, and it ended badly. So we came back to the UK and, uh, and, and started, started the practice. Okay, so the next exhibition that I'm going to talk about is, um, was an exhibition this year. Uh, we were a British team uh, skiing to the South Pole for the 100 year anniversary of Captain Scott's exhibition. Uh, <coughs> setting off uh, in January. Um, and some of, some of the facts there, it's just a, a grueling slog to the pole, uh, but made it there on the day for the 100 year anniversary. Had a game of cricket, had a game of golf, celebrated in a very British way, um, and some just great facts about Antarctica. 
people in Antarctica. Um, one percent sites and uh, a lot of uh, explorers and adventurers uh, <laughs> looking for that photo. Which one were we? Yeah, there it is. Uh, all about that perfect Facebook profile. That's the, that's the main reason. Um, Antarctica, so there's Antarctica. Uh, Union Glacier up on the left is where we actually flew into um, and left from there. Whereas Bay of Wales down here and, and Ross Island is um, Asmussen's route and Scott's route to Holt. Uh, we took a different route, uh, but the problems were still the same. Um, so obviously uh, we were facing extreme temperatures, um, temperatures averaging minus 30 down to minus 40, uh, minus 50 on occasions. Um, and we just addressed this like a like a new a new project basically. How what could we bring to the team that would change the way this expedition was um, was managed? Um, and we took very simple uh, lessons learned from the previous, um, from the Africa expedition, uh, using the ice as an igloo effect, building up the walls. Um, so this, this is a, a prototype we designed, uh, using the snow and, and, and ice to protect yourself from the wind, uh, and creating an igloo effect that raised the temperature of the um, shelf inside. So we actually, we hadn't tested this before, and. Uh, we tested it in some very real conditions and it worked uh, at just far better than we expected. And that's where it all came from. This was um, mud techniques in what we saw in the Congos, we saw it in um, Gabon, um, equatorial regions of, of West Africa basically where they use the thermal mass of, as architects. You all, you all know this, but I think it's something that we forget uh, it's very easy when you're designing in the UK to, to forget about climate and it's just nice to go back to the basics and realise that we can make more of what's around us and traditional building techniques. Uh, so yeah, got to the pole um, and actually was treated with uh, some lovely weather so had our first ever cricket game, uh, first ever golf game, um, beat uh, pretty much where we played because Norwegians are terrible at cricket. Uh, okay, so this is for me. This is what it's all about, really. Um, I really get excitement and enjoyment for, for, on the architecture point of view because it's it's about problem solving. It's about um, you know, being on site, um, being faced with uh, being faced with difficulties, and it's the same on expeditions. The only thing is that you. You try and address these quickly, simply. So this is just a slide to show that, um, for me, it's all about doing this. It's just simplifying the whole thing. So, uh, squeamish gentleman, the slide on the right is not one you want to think about. But it, this is you, you've got to face reality basically on these expeditions. That you've got to think about the worst case. Uh, and you're in these extremes of cold. Um, frostbite is a real danger. So the first thing is to is to plan for it. Um, have you got the right equipment? Are you protecting yourself? Are you looking after each other? Uh, <laughs> another one. So um, identifying the problem early. Uh, there was a, uh, someone on our expedition who actually got frostbite, uh, but it was picked up very quickly by another member of the team. It was addressed and, and the problem was resolved and it didn't affect the, the exhibition but had it um, gone unnoticed, he would have been blown home with missing a part of the cheek. Uh, again, this is a sorry, this is a slide from um, from the Con uh, no, it's not Congos, it's Guinea Bissau, I believe. Uh, again, it's just a tongue in cheek, but identifying the problems early. Um, finding a solution. I think, as architects, we often get too um, hung up on finding the perfect solution um, and perhaps procrastinating a little bit. Uh, whereas in reality, often 
a solution if my solution is better than none, and you can develop that um, as the project goes on. It's the same with the exhibition. It's about finding something simply uh, and quickly uh, and moving forward. <coughs> And then, uh, and then re-evaluating, you know, is that uh, two? <laughs> is that my, my age or? Um, okay, it's just a lovely, uh, lovely image from, uh, we had car problems pretty much in every country that we went to. We went to 30 countries, so you can imagine the amount of um, time <coughs> tinkering with this. Uh, and this was, this vehicle was literally propped up by the local uh, mechanics on rocks. Not the best solution, but it worked. Um, and again, lessons are this is uh, again in Antarctica. After we got to the pole, we were able to play, we were able to play with this, uh, this, this amazing machine here. And we took it for uh, what we thought would be an uneventful drive uh, across the polar plateau. Uh, we were 20 miles from, from camp, which isn't very far, but when you're walking, that's three days. Uh, you know, we were only covering eight miles a day. And we got stuck. Um, and we just used simple lessons that we'd, we'd, um, we'd learned before crossing the Sahara. Well, we took that huge tire off, buried it 50 meters into the snow, and winched off the tire. Um, that was just a really simple, again, simple solution to a problem that could have very quickly uh, turned rather nasty. Uh, that's it. Um, so yeah, just to recap, it's just problem solving is all about simplifying. It's, it's planning, it's preparing, um, it's identifying these problems early, and finding a, sim a solution that doesn't have to be perfect, and then reevaluating that, uh, that solution. Uh, I'm done. Uh, and I thought about that, I thought that was quite nice. So. Uh, 